Good morning people, I want to show how to solve the problem for the rocket height. A rocket, initially at rest on the ground, accelerates straight up from rest, with a constant acceleration of 34.3 meters per second square. The acceleration period lasts for 7 seconds, until the fuel is exhausted. After that, the rocket is in free fall. It is important to know that this problem has two different stages. I am going to explain the first stage as follows. The rocket, as you can see, is on the ground and it starts with an acceleration of 34.3 meters per second square. We know the acceleration and we also know the time that acceleration took place. So I'm going to plug in the acceleration and the time into the kinematic equation for stage 1 and I'm going to get the delta y for the first stage. In this case I plug in 34.3 for acceleration and 7 for the time. I can use the kinematic equations because acceleration is constant. Now we determine that the delta y for the first stage is 840.35 meters. This is the altitude the rocket has at the, at the end of the first stage. But then, after the 7 seconds elapsed, the rocket has no more power, so it's going to be in free fall. Acceleration for free fall on Earth is going to be g, or 9.8 meters per second square. That's the acceleration we're going to use for the second stage. And as you can see, we have to calculate the final velocity for stage 1, which is going to be the initial velocity for stage 2. To get the final velocity for stage 1, I am going to use this kinematic equation using the delta y we previously calculated. As you can see, I am going to get the final velocity for stage 1, which is going to be the initial velocity for stage 2. This velocity is 240.1 meters per second. Now that I know the initial velocity for the stage 1, I am going to use this kinematic equation to calculate how far it's going to be when the final velocity in the y direction is 0. So as you can see, I plug in 0 for final velocity of the stage 2. My initial velocity is going to be 240.1 square and my acceleration is going to be negative 9.8, that is g. So now, I am going to add the values for both stages, delta y1 and delta y2, and that's going to be the max height, which is the value they are asking for. Then I'm going to plug in, and the problem is finished. Thank you for watching, I hope this explanation is useful, and I'll see you next time guys.